Yes, yes. Alleyway M15 in red. Super sexy. I'm excited. You're excited. Woo! Oh, my ears. Your ears. We're all hurting here. So if you're new around here, come on. Get on the woo train. Make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to torture test this. You know me. I'm going to slam this thing, do multiple reviews. Make sure you like and subscribe to see that. Alienware M15. Yes, Alienware have just dropped this Alienware M15 15 inch laptop red. You can get it red. It's supposed to be only in the Chinese market red, but you can get it too now in North America. That looks like. Hopefully they bring it to Australia. Dale, come on, come on, come on. Here's everything you need to know about the beast. It's thinner and lighter than the 13 inch Alienware. So they're not selling the 13 inch anymore. It's actually thinner and lighter than that. Now to be fair, that was a bit of a chunky monkey, but thinner and lighter than the 13 inch full on gaming laptop. That's pretty good. Cause this is still a full on gaming laptop with full maximum performance. We'll have to put that to the test. But that's what Alienware do, all right? They always give you the maximum performance. That's their motto. They don't mess around with compromises when it comes to gaming. So compared to the current 15-inch Alienware, it's 17% thinner and 30% smaller. So it's trimmed up. It's like ash. It's gone to the gym. It's fully ripped now. So what that means is it's trimmed down from 7.7 .7 pounds down to 4.76 pounds. So that's about 2.16 kilos. So that's not much heavier than those really thin premium light, you know, XPS 15s, razors and arrows and stuff like that. It's not that much heavier than those. And this is a full on gaming laptop with hopefully full performance. So when it comes to specs, you can get the i7-8750H, six core processor, eighth generation. That's what most gaming laptops have. GTX 1070, Max-Q or GTX 1060. Now the other 15, you can get up to GTX 1080. So going a bit smaller and thinner, some some compromises were had but GTX 1070 Max Q come on still friggin beast and you know that 6 core 8758 is a beast for gaming as long as you get maximum performance at least parts which I expect with nailing where you will it's gonna be a gaming beast now for ports we have three USB 3 type A's HDMI 2.0 mini display port 1.3 Thunderbolt 3 Ethernet Alienware's amplifier port, which is the fastest external graphics amp. It's faster than Thunderbolt 3E GPUs. So you're pretty much covered with all the ports there. Ethernet as well, as you'd expect for a gaming laptop. Inside with the storage, you have a two and a half inch drive bay. So it'll probably come with a hard drive. You can replace that with an SSD if you want. Also has M.2 for your main storage. So your windows, etc. For displays, I like what they've done here. Got rid of G-Sync, bye-bye. And the reason you don't want G-Sync in a laptop is it sucks battery life you don't want it no mention of the battery size as such they said it's like 14 hours battery so expect you know killer battery life in a gaming laptop which is not the usual thing but now without g-sync they'll be able to do that and to be perfectly frank once you get over 100 frames per second you've got a high refresh rate monitor you don't need g-sync so the display options is full hd 60 hertz full hd 144 hertz and a 4k 60 hertz monitor so you covered there and you know i know tobias from surface studio he uses an alien with a 4k display for his visual effects so it can be used as a workstation as well one thing that's gone is the strip lighting and the trackpad that lights up too it does have rgb on the keyboard as you would expect game laptop has rgb but that cool strip lighting is gone which i really liked it was pretty kitsch but it's gone now so that's all you need to know about this beast i think it's going to be available october 25th and until next time guys tally ho